<laughs> well, look who it is. <laughs> yes, yes, mate. Mate. yes, mate. Yes, mate. Look at you making it on time. Wow. What? On time. <laughs> look, yeah. That's because one time. And I'm not going to lie, yeah. I gave myself the minimal time today because I thought, you know what, Josh has got a point. With the, with the airport being so local to me, 15 minutes. I don't need to be there two hours before, hour 45 minutes before. So, here the joke now, I'll get to the, the, um, the airport, yeah, and just the bit where you just got to check in with your boarding thing. I'm like, hold on a minute, this is taking ages. The machines are not working, it's, everyone's panicking. So I'm thinking, right, I got through that. And then after that now, we got through to the security and I, there was a sea of people. And I'm thinking, all right, just be patient. I've got like 40 minutes until my flight leaves. Check my boarding pass, says uh, gate closes in 10 minutes. You see how many families I pushed in front of and little kids I pushed in front of. And I was like, listen, can I go in front of you, man? My flight leaves in 10 minutes. He's like, so does mine. Like, we're all in the same boat. I said, you're in your own boat. I just, I just, I just <laughs> no went shame. in. Right? Just, no shame. I was pushing in front of little kids with their flipping little cuddly toys and that. I'm sorry, I didn't care. Um, I just couldn't, I couldn't miss it. I couldn't miss the flight. And then it said gate 52. So I'm like, gate 52, it only goes up to like 45 hey, something. I was on 52, that's my ticket, that's yeah. why. Oh yeah, I looked at the right. <laughs> that's you know what, I was last looking at all because I sent me, you yours. You sent me your ticket last time. <laughs> that's why, I'm going, stupid fucking airport. <laughs> what do you mean gate 52, it only goes up to 48? And I'm saying to the security, I'm like, where's gate 50, 52? She was like, no, 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 check the screen, check the screen. That's just maybe where they're calling you. And I'm like, I'm like, where is it? I even asked the man in, um, in a restaurant and he was trying to serve people. And I'm like, mate, where's gate 52? He was like, oh, well, this one is one to 30. I said, I know this one's one to 30. I was proper panicking. So I'm sprinting through the terminal now and I was like dripping with sweat by the time I got there, but I made it. That's all that matters. And I'm on time, never late. Not like you, Josh, actually Look, missing yeah. modes of transport. I was, I was there early today. Yeah, I got to, the, got to the airport, like went, bought a sandwich. Yeah. Had my little meal deal from Boots or whatever. Yeah. No product placement. And then, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, yeah, time. Wow. You yeah. Time. But even because I was the last, one of the last people to my gate, I was still one of the first people on the plane. Okay. Because that's just how I run the airport. Nah, man, I, I need, Unless I I'm sleeping, in which case I'm not running the airport. I'm running the <laughs> dream world, baby. Uh, I'm underwhelmed though, weather wise. You will find this absolutely baking hot, but Bruv, it was I come here in a t shirt, I had to put the jumper back on. So hopefully, it's only about what? Apparently, you were storming yesterday. Oh, right. So let's just hope that so. the sun comes out because I'm not looking to just be in a hoodie the whole time. I want some sun. So let's, uh, we need to go and collect a ticket um, from some place in central Barcelona. And hopefully, it doesn't get lost like it did in Juventus this time. <laughs> um, I've learned from that mistake. And then um, we're gonna go to the hotel, check it out. And then, yeah, man, show you guys Barcelona. Let's go do this. Well, this bit turned out slower than yeah. I wanted. <laughs> Let's speed it up, baby! <laughs> Sabotage. <laughs> Sabotage. How many um, messages I've got from um, people to saying, pray to the <laughs> pray to the football gods that if you see any posters of Messi and Co, please just ask them for for forgiveness, <laughs> redemption. All right, worry about that, mate. That's going to be the new ritual for European away days. This looks like. There's other places, other areas, yeah. When you get to the centre bit where yeah. the bus Burger King! When you get to the centre bit where there's this big garden fountain bit and there's shops everywhere. I was like, Flex would love this place. Okay. Yeah. I need to get out of it. You'll need it on the Damn shame. Oh. This guy blocking up the whole thing. Oh, no. <laughs> It's made me get the boxes out in front of everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Ticket collected. In there, how it works is you get a little card thing that you have to bring here. And European away games, you've got to bring your passport and collect it. None of that ticket touting, none of that passing it off. Very strict. Um, so just to let you into an inroad about how it works with the European ticket. So when you guys are messaging me saying, 
Flex, can you get me a ticket to Barcelona away? Unless you're going to claim four of these passports under my name or someone else's name and you've been a member or a season ticket holder, then absolutely not. Um, your best chance is to just fly out here to try and get one outside the game, which is pushing on the leg, but that's how it goes. So listen, now it's time to get up to the hotel. Josh is going to do his famous bed test. Um, no, a lot of, lot of fans out here believing in the dream, man. Why not? Believe in the dream, so yeah. Let's get to the hotel, let's, let's get another taxi, get to the hotel and see what it is, see what it has to offer. This is more of like a, I think it's like a, not hostel, but, well, yeah, hostel. <laughs> um, it's not going to be luxury. Oh, Camp Nou, I pressed the wrong one. Oh, I pressed someone's house. Look. <laughs> so there's different things on there. I just clicked that, but then I've seen it says Camp Nou there, so. The man can't read, bro. I oh, know. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I'm not getting that warming feeling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting that kind of um, flex. Why didn't you take more time to look at uh, somewhere better to book? But listen, it's um. Hello, we have a room, please. We have a room in Camp Nou. See. <laughs> I need to learn some Spanish, bro. Come estos, come estos, Pablo. She's gonna come down. She's not unlocking it. I don't know if she's coming down to open it or what. She didn't even say, yeah, hi, we're <laughs> expecting you. She's just like, see, and that's it. I see. <laughs> As in, I see you in this little camera thing and you haven't got a room here, so fuck off. <laughs> or see, as in, yes, I'm on mate. my way to let you in. See, mate. Oh, I can hear someone. I just hope the lift, if there is a lift, I can hear the key. It sounds like jail keys, fam. <laughs> yes, mate. Okay, so we've got to the hotel, as you saw, um, but we're too early. Imagine that, me and Joss too early to somewhere. When does that ever happen? Um, even the woman was like, when we got there, finally through Google Translate, because she didn't speak any English. Um, I worked out that when she was saying nombre or nom, she was actually asking for my name, not my number. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought she was trying to ask me out on a date or something. Now, obviously we have forgot something. We need some batteries um, for the stuff oh. that we need. I, I know. <laughs> um, so we're going to go and get some batteries. And um, yeah. Hopefully get Josh's equipment working properly. Yes, mate. We've got the Duracell batteries, but I yes, said mate. to the shopkeeper, wish us some luck because we're here for the boys. We're here for the boys. And you support Man United, right? Yeah, exactly. Go. Yeah, hi. This is Rocky. I'm from Delhi and India. And this is my shop, Al Hospital de Jobregas, Barcelona. Sick. And I met that guy. Jeez. And he's also from Jeez. Manchester. Yeah, man. How does this, how does this happen? So Delhi, all the way to Barcelona, own business, oh, but well, support Manchester United. Well, it's all destiny, brother. It's, it's all destiny. I like that, you know. It's, it's just meant to happen. Well, it love happens. That. Uh, God wants to make both of three of us, so that's why. Do you know that's what? Nice. Nice, nice to Does meet that you mean the batteries are free now? I'll be there next time, man. Yeah. Can I tap? Uh, yeah, sure. It's contactless. Oh, yeah. wicked. Yeah, contactless. Don't want you guys seeing my pin. Yeah. <laughs> five, five, seven, five. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Listen, my friend, nice to meet you. you. Same here, bro. Take care. Bye-bye. Take care, guys. Big up. What a nice guy. What a nice guy. Um, just shows how big Man United is, man. All around the world. The guy's from India. He's moved to Spain. Has his own shop. And supports Man United. That's just, that's just crazy. But it just shows how big the club is, you know what I mean? We're in Barcelona. And we've got supporters here. And you'd think that Barcelona is a place where, you know, you pretty much only support, what? Espanyol or Barcelona. But, um... Absolutely not. So yeah, batteries are sorted. We can't go back to the hotel for another couple of hours. So that means only one thing. It means food, Josh. Yes, mate. Oh. Fish and chips, mate. I mean, fish and chicken, mate. Or oh. uh, the joke is ruined. This is like Market City. You know what I mean? Middle of the day. We've got the pensioners out going for a little stroll. Um, there's, like I said, loads of local produce here, man, like there. Um, got like bookshops, shoe shops, clothes shops, watch shops, jewelry shops, 
few food things, cosmetics. It's like literally everything in one little alley, one little strip. A little off license and that. That's cool. I've noticed that um, all the locals, they're, they're like, they're proper wrapped up. Like to them, this is freezing. It was the same when I went to Seville. When we went to Seville last year, I was in like shorts, t-shirts, a little bit warmer than this. But the Spanish people, it's like, this is their winter. Some of them, I've seen some with like scarves and shit, or like big proper actual rain jackets. So um, it's crazy how like in England, we perceive this as like fairly warm, decent summer's day. And these are wrapped up, like, look at her jacket. Like she's fully, that's a big jacket. Remember? She's got the scarf tucked in. It's mad, look, big jacket, jacket, crazy. Nice little green man, universal green man. Don't matter where you are, it means you can cross. Yeah. Where was we when we was fucking nearly got run over? Run. Kit does the back of as well. Oh, is it? Okay. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Fuck, you know. Where's the little thing that you press as well? Like, you know what I mean? The little. There's nothing to press to stop the traffic. ever so often. Don't want to hear it every so often, mate. It needs to stop when there's pedestrians. You know, we haven't got those on of us. Listen, stop trying to be... I'm trying to be biased towards us here, yeah? I like Barcelona. Yeah, <laughs> I know, you love it here. <laughs> no, nah, it, it, it does seem really nice. We've only been here a couple of hours, but... It's very clean. I'll give it that as well. Very clean oh, for yeah. where we are. Very clean. I love the fact that um, there's a big population of older people that literally, you can just tell they're in retirement, they're just enjoying their life. They're going to their local coffee shop and stuff like that, having a, a little croissant or whatever. Look, look at all these cakes and stuff like that. I'm gonna wait for a bigger version of him before I really declare what I want from this guy, because he needs to have a day off. That is probably the worst doll I've ever seen as well. Look at this, that does not look like him. I don't know who that looks like. That does not look like Messi though. But um, yeah, I'm coming back for you, you little bastard. Just like anywhere in the world, you've got like certain places of it, parts of it that are hostile and whatever. So you don't want to buck up on like the Barcelona ultras and shit and be like, yeah, we're just doing a little vlog, like, how you doing? And, and they just fuck you up. <laughs> Hi, mate, you right? How's it going, mate? You all right? Yeah, uh, man, yeah. yeah, not the best. Um, right. Well, basically, I'm in Barcelona. But Josh oh, isn't. God, here we go again. But Josh isn't. What's happened then? Missed the plane. Is that Tim again? Yep. Oh, for fuck's sake. So there's not going to be any fan cams. There's not going to be. I don't know. I, I've said to him try and find another plane to get out of here, but it's not till like six o'clock. So, oh, for fuck's sake. So what? How has that happened again? How has he managed to do that? Mate, I said last night. I said to him. I, jokingly, I said, you can't fuck up, like, set as many alarms as you need to, like, it's not difficult, just get to bed early, like, we can't have any mishaps. Yeah, yeah, no worries, Flex, I've got it, I've got it, don't worry. Um, so, I, so on the, I wake up about five o'clock and stuff, and uh, I rang him and he didn't answer. Well, it just didn't, it didn't really ring, so I thought, I oh, must be on the, on the tube, on the underground. And um, so I get to the airport and there's still nothing, but when I was at the airport, my reception was shit. And I had to run for my plane because there was loads of delays with the security getting in. So I just sprinted and just, so when I got here, I messaged him um, and it didn't work. And then when I got out of the fucking, um, like going through security on this side, he's rang me saying, listen man, I fucked up. Um, I, I, I slept in again, I'm sorry. I was like, do you know what? Just call it a day. Just, just we, need, we need to find a new cameraman, mate. So. <laughs> <laughs> only joking, mate, only joking, yes, is it? Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at you trying to try it. He said, don't go and find a new camera, and even if he slept in, he's still a nice guy. <laughs> you weren't going to say that, mate. <laughs> no, we're here, we're here, good as, good as gold, mate. Uh, we just thought we'd give you a little prank on the vlog. Um, but uh, the, the vlog can hear you, so... What's your thoughts? How are you feeling? Realistic talk, I think that I'm quite relaxed about it today. I just sort of have this feeling that um, this is our last Champions League game for a decade. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, uh, no, it's, I mean, Paris, you were there for that. It was amazing. It was an amazing night. 
I, do I think we're going to do that again? No. But I think this is the reward of that night. Like, you know, we're going to play in the new camp. We're going to play against Messi. It's a Champions League quarterfinal. Yeah. I think we're ultimately probably going to go out. But you never know. You never know with United. You, know, you never know. Put in, That's it. They can put in a performance of 10 out of 10. They are, they are the, the box of chocolates for Forrest Gump. You never know what you're going to get. You know, no. you get played off the park at home by West Ham. You can go to the new camp and win. So... Uh, I'm not expecting it, but then again, I think being an underdog's quite a good thing. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. Are you yes. sure? <laughs> Are you not? You, you see what we've done to Paris, right? <laughs> but I think we're going to do it. Yes. You sure? Yes. Is Messi going to score against us? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you should be scared. You know, we're underdogs. No, no, no. This is when we're underdogs, we're dangerous. <laughs> we're not scared. Do, do you see in '99 when we came here? We see. You see what happened last time, right? This, this is, we are going to, to see what, what is going to happen. <laughs> I don't know. I think you're going to be crying after the game. <laughs> well, I would say good luck, but bad luck. <laughs> Take care. Look how big that looks, man. <laughs> okay, it looks wide. <laughs> But it don't, no, no, it's big, yeah, but... Yeah, that's what, I that's what Old Trafford's got all them bloody scaffolding on the Listen, top. listen, hey, 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 yeah, stop talking shit about my team. What I would say is, though, yeah, actually, yeah, it's very... <laughs> I don't even think your lens is wide enough to... <laughs> I hope, I hope, I hope that card he's holding up, I hope he fucking gets two of them today. <laughs> fucking little bastard, man. You just know, you just know what he's going to be on, he's going to be on some serious smoke. But, Louis, listen. I said the same to Killian, yeah? <laughs> I turned Killian into shitty and real quick, yeah? Come on, I need the same from you. I need you to have a fucking day off. Just fucking booking at the dentist or something and go and sort the teeth out. Just do something. Yeah, I know. Yes, people, so this is the communal area. Plain, simple. Do any cooking, Josh? No, mate. Sure? Yes, mate. <laughs> Washing up after yourself? <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna order pizza, fam. I know. Well, the pizza shall be eaten at the table. Yeah, we're a family, so when we eat, we need to <laughs> sit down as a family and eat together. Um, so, nice little communal. If you want to have a little sit down, you can do that there. There's you know, four little puffets there. And when you wake up in the morning and you just got the, well, <laughs> it's not exactly the mountains of Barcelona, but um, it's all right. It's nice. Take that. It is what it is. Yeah, a little scooter. So that's that. Let's shut this. So this is the little front room slash communal area. Magazines there. Microwave, fridge, have they left us anything? There's like, no little Coca-Cola or something? Now, I think that's, yeah, this is allocated. Room six, what's that? Room four, trying to steal someone's Heineken, couldn't get on it, Josh, me and you. What's in this one? Nothing. Cool, oh, leave that shot. <laughs> oh, uh, what's in here? Let's have a look, is this someone's room? Oh, that's room 14, no, let's not do that. <laughs> God knows what we're gonna find in there, what's this? That's locked as well. All right, so now we'll go to our room. Pictures on the wall. Actually, two bathrooms, I think she said. Yeah. One bathroom here. You know, like I always say, before we go in, I always say things have to be clean. That's all I care about. I don't care about decor. I don't know how much I can stress that. Is it clean? And um, the verdict, I would say, is yes. Yes. Yes, quite sparkly, mate. Yeah. It's bang bang yeah, I like that. Ocean view. Yeah, okay, no problem. Gracias. Gracias. Yeah, we're gonna be Manchester are gonna win. Manchester. No, no Barca. No more. Finito. Es para mascara para finito. Sí, sí, sí. Has R. Kelly been staying here? Dirty! <laughs> Why is it saying no molester? <laughs> to don't disturb, please. That sounds all wrong. Just so you know, 
this is probably Spanish for something very normal. Yeah, don't be asking any questions about where are these guys staying, about molester and all that shit. Key to ignition. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Lovely little uh, polka dot spread. Big cats. Big cats. I, I did on this bed because it's got black cats. Okay, cool. Well, that's not actually black. It's but more of a, it's a zebra colored tiger. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> black, black. Round. All right. The black ground. Cool. No, I like it. Obviously, we've got the 80-inch um, TV on the wall, as you can see. iPad size, which is fine. We're not spending any time in here. Here's your workstation, Josh. <laughs> All the editing shall be done here. Um, it's ergonomically made very well. Enough knee height. It's oh, a little bit uh, a little bit wobbly, but health and safety. Aircon, which you might need because you're always fucking hot, but I don't think you will. Not even you will. Nice little mirror for you check go out. Left us any clothes? No, that's cool, but wardrobe space is good. And now, I mean, what, what do you lot think the view is going to be? Like, uh, do you know what? I'm going to save the picturesque views until we go to like on tour in like Australia, Shanghai, <laughs> and Singapore. We'll save those picturesque views because we'll book some nice hotels. But this, I feel it's going to be caged in like around the back of a restaurant or something. <laughs> Tricked you. Barrier number one. <laughs> Literally caved in. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Literally caved in. Oh, I fucking feel like I'm in Alcatraz. You mean like R. Kelly? 30 years! Okay, brother. Okay, brother. <laughs> 30 years! Listen, it is what it is. We only want a place to, to put our head down, and that's what we've got. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Bed test. D d taking <laughs> taking one in slow motion. Steam <laughs> Now it's time to get some more Barcelona in. Get down to the new camp nice and early speak to some fans, wind up some Barcelona fans. Definitely got to do that. Um, and pray to Messi, really. Pray to the Messiah to um, retire. <laughs> pray to the Messiah to retire. Jeez. All the way down to the wire. Jeez. Flex, stop it. Um, anyway, listen, you lot get out of here. We need to prepare. I need to charge my phone, get the power bank. Um, Josh needs to pack the camera stuff for the fan cams. We need to get ready. And I need to not forget my ticket. It needs to come out of Josh's bag right now. So, peace. Get out of it. Now you can clap for me. Now we're rolling, mate. Yes, mate. Oh, the hotel is done. We are all mic'd up. Josh is mic'd up. Yes, mate. <laughs> he wanted to get involved in the vlog so much. He's like, I need a voice. <laughs> well, it's not, it's not like you couldn't hear me in the background anyway. Yeah, that's all the time. Going, yes, mate. Yes, mate. <laughs> the shirt has changed. I'll put this one on because you know why. You know what happened in Paris when we wore this. I need everything to try and be as similar to Paris as it could possibly be. We're going to take a trip down to the new camp. Back down to the plan out the away end. Because what a lot of you guys don't see behind the scenes is um, the planning and preparation that we do um, to make sure the fan cams run as smoothly as possible. So as much as you love the vlogs, it's all about showing you guys what we do as well. And um, I know it looks like we all got always disorganized. <laughs> And Josh is always late and all those funny things, which is true. All of the above <laughs> is true. <laughs> but away from that, there is actually a lot of planning that we do. So from to all the kit that we bring to making sure that all the, the kits got Wait. all the batteries. Speaking of kits. Little, you haven't even wiped the lens. Little smidgen there. <laughs> <laughs> little smidgen. <laughs> Josh always wears a t-shirt, so he's able to wipe the lens whenever that happens. Um, but no, nah, seriously, man. So just when we went into the hotel to show you guys what it looked like and that, once we'd done that, um, Josh had to repack the bag again for the bits that he needs for this bit. Um, so there's a lot of work that goes into it at the end, man. And then once we finish doing this bit, we should be hopefully talking to some fans and taking in some atmosphere. Um, once we finish this, Josh will come back and then repack this, the third part of the bag at home for the fan camp stuff. So it's crazy, man. And then after the game, um, we obviously get back and um, we need to edit the videos and get them up as quickly as possible for 
the pleasure of you guys, so yeah, man. There's a lot that goes into this stuff. We enjoy it, Josh. Careful, there's big cement bags here, but don't just walk yes, into mate. it. Yeah. I'm ninja, fam. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's the other side of it that I want you lot to see because as much as it looks great, it's important that you guys see what goes on behind the scenes, you know what I mean? So, yeah, see a lot of the new camp very shortly. Yeah, but I'm not being funny. If you show everyone, yeah, look around. Like, this doesn't seem like there's a fucking 100 seater, 1,000 stadium, 100 seater stadium, 100,000 seater stadium. 100 seat. 100 seats. <laughs> it doesn't seem like there's a 100,000 seater stadium behind the back of them flipping flats over there. It doesn't seem like that. So we was well within our rights to actually check the thing because this doesn't feel like the stadium. I didn't feel it, that. It doesn't. I, I felt magical mystery. We were walking the right way. We didn't need to check. Well, there's you nothing. You have to have faith. There's nothing if wrong. With if you checking. can't believe in yourself, how are you going to believe in your team, fam? What if you, you can't find your way to the new camp, how is Man United going to win at the new camp? Listen. Tell me this. I'll tell you this. Tell yeah. me this. I will tell you this. Yeah. It's not about trying to get one up and be like, oh yeah, I can do it without any help. Or it takes a real man or a real person, should I say, yeah, to admit when they need help. That doesn't make you weak. That makes you strong. Yeah, well, That's you, what it does. You, you didn't need help, you just gave up. I didn't give up. I didn't give up. <laughs> I just needed help along the way. I given was giving you help, giving I was up, that way. Uh, wait, you said cross over, innit? Like, yeah, cross and then bustle it. We can go, yeah, over. let's go here again. Listen, yeah. I'm just not taking any chances because I want to be organised, that's all. Yeah, that's all. Is there, any is there any harm in that? I just don't want to take any risk. After you've missed planes and not been where you're supposed to be That's and taking Euro risk. stars. That's not because of risk. No, but it's lack of planning. No, it wasn't lack of planning. Because <laughs> if you remember, I booked a hotel planning. <laughs> yeah. In, in fact, That's even worse. That was, that, That's was the even most, worse. that was the most planned I've ever planned anything in All my right. life. And you still fucked it up. So yeah, that's so what I'm saying, man. I'm, I'm going to stick with what I normally do. Go with the flow. Yeah, like today I went with the flow fam. Anyway, I forget got... all of this small talk, yeah? Oh yeah, small, buy small Fucking... talk. Where is Messi? Where is he? Like, I'm looking for him. Rawr, he's hiding, he's not rawr, on air. Like, rawr. do you know what, yeah? I'm not gonna lie, I thought for the city of Barcelona, yeah? I thought that his face, especially, and obviously the rest of the team, would be plastered on a lot more shit. Like, when we was in PSG, like, when we was in and around the stadium or not too far away from it, it would, them man were everywhere. Like, Mbappe was just, at, he was just, he was getting on to me. He was, he was chucking it. <laughs> so what I'm saying now is, is that I really thought that, um, you know, like, like on things like this, I thought that the players would just be on it. But instead they've got like their gang signs and that and shit on it. So <laughs> we'll see in it, we'll see. But as soon as I see Messi, watch, he's getting it from me. I hope you guys can see me from all the way up there because I can certainly see you. I'm at the sunny Barcelona New Camp Stadium right now, man, ready for the big one. I am nervous. I'm still believing. Deep down in my heart, it's probably not going to happen. I can see us losing heavily with a messy masterclass. Um, and probably mistakes as well, but you never know. Um, hopefully that doesn't happen. I still need to go and find Messi as well, actually, to go and have a little word with him, to tell him to try and clock off for the evening, because he just needs to take some time out. He really does. But the atmosphere is building. Both sets of fans are around the stadium, as you can see. Guys, make sure you enjoy the game. Win or lose. I'm off to get some more sangria. Later, I am out of it. Barcelona, what's the score going to be? 3-1 Barca. Yeah. Three, one. So what, you're not, you're not scared of us after what we did to Paris? No, 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 no. Are you no, no, sure? No. I'm sure. We're the comeback kings. Lukaku took a picture with Drake. Comeback kings. <laughs> it's over then, it's over. Lukaku took a picture with Drake. It's a comeback. I'm united. Come I'm united. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to come back and do this. We dropped him when he was a kid. See? We dropped him when he was a kid. We dropped him when he was a kid. You see? Something wrong after that. Listen, listen, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. There's only one midget, yeah, who's doing bits today, and that's Alexis Sanchez. It's not Messi. There's only one. One little small guy, Lex Sanchez. Who's your team? Who's my team? Look at this. Look at this, baby. Yeah. See, this is, 
He bought that like recently. <laughs> this one, as you can see right here, it's 10 years ago. Still kept it fresh. Sure it is. Legendary. Your time is done. Legend. See what we've done against PSG? No. They thought they had him. When was the last time they had Di Maria and all these players? Oh, but we came with silence time? then. Have you heard of Scott McTominay? I know it's McTominay. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> You're laughing. Exactly. You're laughing, yeah? Exactly. Guess what? United. Yeah. Are we going to win today? Yeah, we are. I mean, we won at Paris. We, we can do play. it, right? Yeah, we can. But do you think Messi's going to be too much? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look, look how intimidating yeah. that is. Look how intimidating that is. It is intimidating, but it is doable, mate. You I can mean, do it. Why yeah, not? all is at the will, mate. All is at the will. You heard it. Listen, man, thank you for supporting the content. Thank you yeah. for the love, man. Take care. Yeah, we are How much? How much? 250. 250. 25 pounds. 25. 25. 25. 25. 25. 25 pounds. One, 200. 200? <laughs> catch me, catch me, catch me. <laughs> Is, is that not just the sangria you can feel in your blood, mate? I can feel that in my veins, but in my blood, <laughs> in my soul, <laughs> in my head, it's Man United. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. Messi's still it's messy, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's going to get messy tonight. Oh, it is going to get messy. <laughs> Listen, hold on. Look at me. Hey, look at me. Look at me. Have a day off. Yeah? Retire. You've won everything there is to win, yeah? Well, not everything. No, he has. Okay, apart from the World Cup, but fuck all that. At club level, this little midget <laughs> has won everything there is to win. There's only one midget he's doing bits today, and that is Alexis Sanchez. If he even plays. Don't worry about that. He's coming off the bench for a masterclass. Please, man. <laughs> please. Like, please. Give me a moment. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be my name. My kingdom come, I will should be done. Please, like, just, this is the day, like, okay, you went missing at Old Trafford, you didn't need to do it. You don't need to turn it on here, you've done it so many times. Just leave us alone, let us through. This is it. I've spoken to Messi, I've tried to give the good luck charm again. Will it work? I don't know, man, but listen. He need, he's due a day off, surely, with two games in a row, because he wasn't great against us, even though he got an assist. Uh, yeah. But this is his home. I've tried. You guys are arts for it. I've tried the shitty and Mbappe thing to the Messi and Mbappe to the Messi and just fucking it up. You ain't even thought of a good name for it. I haven't. Um, Try to make Messi a bit messy. Messi, just just mess it up. Yeah. <laughs> like I've got. I've, I ain't even got no analogies. Like just please give us a break. I, I think. I think. I think you've please. had too much sangria, just, mate. Like, listen. You see this guy here. It's fucking shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh, why do, why do, Yeah, exactly. There's only one goal, right? Yeah. And it's not him. And you know what I'm saying? There's only one midget he's going to score today, and it's not him. It's it's, it's, oh, one matter. One matter. One matter. Sanchez, one matter. Sanchez, one matter. Sanchez, last minute, fucking keyboard comes out. There you go, <laughs> mate. It's Sanchez, you fucking heard it. Nah, nah, fucking scene. Son. Explain. Explain this suit to me. Why? Oh, my God. You are dripping in sauce right now. Yeah. This, is this like cold, like, gone in? Huh? Are no. you going in? Where are you from? From Benin. Benin. Oh, my, like, do you always dress like this? Every time. Oh That's my style. Check and the threads. The big, yeah. Head what are you doing? Head well, to um, so for a vlog, for a vlog. Manchester okay. United vlog. Do you support Barcelona or Manchester United? Or neutral? Barcelona. Are you going to win this game today? I think so. Because I'm just, we are just visiting Barcelona today. And you think it's you a, luck with you? We'll win. But I mean. what about PSG? They thought they would win against us. We'll see. I know that Barcelona had the more chance than Okay. Who is going to win this game today? No, Barcelona. No, 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 it's impossible. Why is it impossible? No, PSG said it was impossible. Exactly. You know, PSG, they're scared of us, right? Are we going to win this game? <laughs> we are. Who's going to score for us? Uh, Pogba and... I think it's going to be the both of the, both of the goals for Pogba. 
Ooh, I like that. I like that. Come on, we got this. Come on. But Barcelona is gonna teach you how to play some ball. Oh. That's just Barcelona. It's only one zero. It's only one zero. Manchester. Manchester United. Look how it's sleep. No. Messi. Messi can't sleep. Yeah, Messi, maybe. How you doing, bro? Hey, come and tell me your prediction. What's your prediction? You need support, first of all. United. Okay. Can we do it? Why? All he had to do is have a day off and he couldn't even do that right. There you have it people. Um, I tried. <laughs> I tried to beg Messi um, to have a day off. And the worst thing is, is that it's like our flipping players wanted him to have a day on. They just flipping gave him chances. And um, we've gone crashing out of the Champions League quarterfinal, which to be fair, Deep down, it was always going to happen, it really. Tried to come with that little bit of hope. And um, all that happened is uh, we got absolutely spun. Which, with the players that we've got and the team that we've got, is far inferior to Barcelona's, isn't it? And we saw that today. The biggest thing, like I said, that pissed me off is the fact that, you know, the first five minutes was encouraging. Um, but if you if you make mistakes like that on here, man, you... You're gonna get you're gonna get punished. You're gonna get punished. Big worry um, about De Gea his form at the minute. Um, I know he, he he got us out of trouble against West Ham, but f by his high standards, his form's just it's just dipping. It's just dipping. Um, so yeah, this is the end of the vlog. Uh, do you know what? We've been through a lot. <laughs> Josh has probably been through more than most. Yes, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised that he's not in police custody right now. <laughs> um, it's nuts. But the stuff that we've gone through to get you guys extra shots and to keep the vlogs coming thick and fast, it's been, um, it's been good. So listen, even away from that, it's, it's like three o'clock in the morning now. I'm absolutely knackered. Um, but away from the result, um, it's, it's so good to be able to bring this to you guys man that's what it's all about and that's why the United Stand is so sick because I met people from um, all over the world here supporting Manchester United actually obviously yeah all, mainly Barcelona fans here but I met a lot of people who watch United Stand content from all over the world and they just wanted to congratulate you know the channel on how well it's doing and stuff like that so that means a lot and uh, these same, same people I met today are probably watching this right now so you guys know who you are. It was great to meet all of you, every single one of you, and to all you guys watching at home. Um, keep supporting, man, because it makes everything worthwhile. That has been the last European vlog. The next set of vlogs will be <laughs> um, away in the summer, which is going to be sick in... Um... Australia! <laughs> 
Deep down under, mate. Deep down Good eye, under. mate. Yes, mate. Yes, mate. you got to get your good eyes in order, mate. Because we're going down under. Cool, blimey. Um, yeah, in Australia. And um, Singapore. And uh, Shanghai as well. So if you guys are watching from that neck of the woods, we will be there. Um, and yeah, a lot of you guys have messaged me already to say... Um, you know, I hope you're about and stuff like that in, in those countries for the tour. So yeah, that'll be the next vlog vlog. Um, so I will see you guys then and hopefully we've got top four and hopefully me and Josh are not travelling to Uzbekistan on a Thursday night <laughs> next year. That's right. In freezing cold minus thirty conditions because we all know what a chore that would be, Josh. You just don't want to be doing that, do you? From sunny Barcelona to no, mate. Barcelona is my favourite, bro. <laughs> to Russia. What's the chance of them ending up in Europa League? <laughs> Little to impossible. So, um, just before I go, though, one thing that has really pissed me off is that I look at that Barcelona team, yeah. I hope I'm wrong, but I look at it and think Liverpool would spin them. I really do. I really do. I think Liverpool would have the beating of them. Um even from the first leg, the way they turned up at Old Trafford, if they turned up like that at, at um, Anfield, I think they'll get they'll get beat, which annoys me even more, because Liverpool probably get to another final, and you're looking at it with Ajax obviously going past Juventus, City probably going to beat Tottenham, it could be um, a City Liverpool final, which. Ugh, let's not even talk about that. Anyway, I'm going to catch some Zeds. And I will see you guys at the next game, which is ever in the way. Peace. Big respect to all you guys for watching that video. Make sure you check out more United Stand content here and here. Yeah, like, subscribe and share. And the socials are along the bottom. You know what to do. Go get following. Go, 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 go.